I've been to their house, yeah, but I still don't have much sense of what the Jacobis were really like. It would help me if I could see some of their personal effects. Diaries, letters, do you have those things, Mr. Metcalf? Oh, I sure do. I mean, other than one or two little keepsakes now Jacoby got. That would be Mr. Jacoby's surviving son by his first wife? Yeah, that's right. As our executor, I keep all that stuff here in the office, along with some of the smaller valuables, till after probate. But uh, Birmingham PD's been all through it. Could you pack those things and ship them up to me? I hate to ask. I, I know it's a pain in the ass. Ah, hell. Probate judge is an old golfing buddy of mine. Son, just tell me you're gonna nail that son of a bitch. We're doing our best. Will? Hey, uh, thanks, Mr. Metcalf. Thanks. A note hidden in Lecter's cell. Sounds like a fan letter might have been mailed by the Tooth Fairy. He wants Lecter's approval. He's curious about you. He's asking questions. I've already scrambled a chopper. Just let her know we have the note? Not yet. It was found during a routine cleanup. They don't open his mail? Can't. Need a warrant. X-rays on me. Where's Lecter now? Still in the holding cage. Can he see himself from there? No. But he's already been there almost half an hour. Pretty soon he'll start to wonder what's wrong. We got to buy time, Jack. Dr. Chilton. Yes, sir. Call your building superintendent or engineer, whoever's in charge. Tell him to pull the circuit breakers on Lecter's hall. Have the super walk down the hall past the holding cell carrying tools. He'll be in a hurry, pissed off, too busy to answer any questions, got it? And don't forget, don't touch the note, okay? Graham's on his way. Listen up! We've got a note coming in on the fly, possibly from the Tooth Fairy. Number one priority, it has to go back to Lecter's cell within the hour, unmarked. We'll need hair and fiber, latent prints, then documents. I'll walk it through myself. Let's go, people. My dear Dr. Lecter, I wanted to tell you I'm delighted that you've taken an interest in me. And when I learned of your vast correspondence, I thought, dare I? Of course I do. I don't believe you're telling who I am. Besides, what particular body I currently occupy is trivial. The important thing is what I am becoming. I know that you alone can understand this transformation. I have some things I'd love to show you. If circumstances permit, I hope we can correspond. I have admired you for years and have a complete collection of your press notices. Actually, I think of them as unfair reviews, as unfair as mine. They do like to sling demeaning nicknames, don't they? The Tooth Fairy. What could be more inappropriate? It would shame me for you to read that. If I didn't know, you would suffer the same distortions in the press. I'm fed up with this bloody stupid building. Every day something breaking. I swear they all How much longer do we have? Ten minutes, max. Instructions for answering were probably in the section that Lecter tore out. I don't get it. Why not just throw the whole note away? It was full of compliments. Couldn't bear to part with them. Now we can mash just a little. You're so sly. But so am I. Aniline dyes and colored inks are transparent to infrared. These could be the tips of T's here and here. In the end, that's a P or possibly an R. Maybe this is where he's telling Lecter how to answer him. Jack, there's only one safe way to carry on a conversation that's one way blind. Publication. Wait a minute. We know this sweetheart reads the tattler. That's in his note, right? The Tooth Fairy. They made that up. Three T's and an R in tattler. So how do you communicate through a tabloid? You got what? New stories? Personals. Personals. Right. What if the killer wants Lecter to answer him through the personal columns? That could be it. We're going to need proofs of those pages before the next Tattler's published. I'm on it. Investigator Graham interests me. Not your standard gumshoe, is he? More alert, purposeful looking. You should have taught him not to meddle. Forgive the stationery. I chose it because it will dissolve very quickly if you should have to swallow it. If I hear from you next time, I might send you something wet. Until then, dear doctor, 
I remain your most avid fan. Tyler got an ad order signed 666. Baltimore postmark on the envelope. Set to run this afternoon. Chicago field office is sending the text through now. Dear Pilgrim. That's it. That's it. I'd like to call him a pilgrim when we talked. You honor me. You're very beautiful. Christ. I offer 100 prayers for your safety. Find help in John 622 816 91 Luke 17. Code. Has to be. Hmm. We've got 19 minutes to get a message in if we can break this. The Tatler can't hold its presses any longer. It's something simple. They only needed cover against casual readers. I'm thinking it's a book code. Book code? The first numeral, 100 prayers, could be the page number. The paired numbers after that could be line and letter, but what book? Not the Bible. No, he's got Galatians 15.2 here. Galatians only has six chapters. Same with Jonah 6, 8. Jonah has four chapters. He wasn't using a Bible. Then the Tooth Fairy named the book to use. He specified it in his note in the part Lecter tore out. It would appear so. What about Swenton Lecter? In a mental hospital, I would think drugs... No. They tried sodium ametol on him three years ago, trying to find out where he buried a Princeton student. He gave him a recipe for dip. Besides, if we sweat him, we lose the connection. If the Tooth Fairy picked the book, then it's something he knew Lecter would have in his cell. Can we get a list of his books? From Chilton, maybe. No, wait. Rankin and Willingham, when they tossed his cell, took Polaroids so they could put everything back in place. Ask them to meet me with pictures of his bookshelves. Where? The library. Will, I'm leery of letting Lecter's message run without knowing what it says. I said let this one run. We keep working on the code. At least it'll encourage the Tooth Fairy to contact him again. What if it encourages him to do something besides write? I don't like this any better than you. But it's our best shot. Dear Doctor, I have admired you for years. I wanted to tell you I'm delighted that you've taken an interest in me. I don't believe you'll tell them who I am. Besides, the important thing is what I am becoming. I have some things I'd love to show you. Until then, I remain your most avid fan. killed a month apart in their homes. These attacks were highly organized. The victims carefully chosen. This one is gonna go on and on. That's the same atrocious aftershave you wore in court. I need your advice, Dr. Lecter. If you recall well, our last collaboration ended rather messily. How is young Josh and the lovely Molly? They're always in my thoughts, you know. So it's true the Lecter is actually helping with your investigation. We may have a little over three weeks before this freak does it again. I might not have time. I do. I have oodles. You want to know how he's choosing them, don't you? This is a very shy boy, Well, I know what it's like to have people always thinking that you're different. <laughs> He is refining his methods. He is evolving. What am I doing here? No one will ever be safe around you, Will. A note hidden in Lecter's cell. The killer wants Lecter to answer him through the personal columns. Lecter gave me your home address. Hi. I'm a friend of your father's. Open your eyes. No. I am the dragon. Give me what I need. Before me, you tremble. Yeah. I'll
call you if I think of anything else. Would you perhaps like to leave me your home number? 